If you don't see incoming calls on OnePlus 15, here's what you can do in order to try to solve this issue. So the first thing that you want to check is the do not disturb mode. Sometimes the DND mode might be enabled by accident or you enable it uh, in the past and you forgot about it. So you can, the easiest way to check that is to go to quick settings or the control center and check if DND mode is off. If it's on, then this might be the reason why you cannot uh, see incoming calls. Now if DND mode is not the case, why you cannot see these messages, I mean these uh, incoming calls, uh, then uh, another, th another thing that we can do is we can go to settings, and here we're gonna scroll down and go to apps, we want to go to the app management, next we're gonna tap on these three dots in the upper right corner and we want to choose to show system. By doing so we can see all apps including system apps and in here we can tap on the search and we can type phone. There we go. First we're gonna go to the phone app over here, the main one. We want to force stop it. We want to also go to notifications, make sure that all notifications, all essential notifications are enabled. So for example the notification set as silent uh, should not be uh, enabled, but for example a ring, vibrate, or maybe even allowing the not disturb might be, you might want to turn it on. Make sure that it is enabled for the lock screen and the banner, for example. And we can also find some different categories that you might want to check. For example, we have incoming calls over here. Uh, so make sure that uh, it is set up properly. And besides that, we have permissions. So check if these permissions are allowed. If some of them are not allowed, then you want to go over here, select the permission and grant the permission for the app. And also we can go to the storage usage and we want to clear data. There we go. We want to completely clear the data. Besides that, we're going to go to phone call slash SMS storage. And in here you want to go to the storage usage and you want to clear cache or clear data if possible. And then we're going to go to phone. Well, phone manager is actually relevant in here, but we also have phone services. So in this case, we can also clear the data. There we go. Let's go back. And besides that, we're going to also type call just to see if there are other apps that we might need to go to. And yes, we have the call management. So you want to go over here, open the storage usage and clear data as well. So any app that is somewhat related to the to, to calling, to, to making phone calls, we want to erase the data to clear everything. All right, so it seems that we are completely done. So now after that, we want to also open the phone app in order to make sure that it is actually running in the background. And you might notice that the style, the appearance of this phone app is now slightly different. It is the style of, uh, well, this is the previous, the old style that we used to have. Right now it is uh, updated. And in this case, we reverted to the uh, old version. But uh, of course, after some time, it will be automatically updated or you can for example go to the Play Store and try to update the app manually. Um, but you don't have to worry, it should be actually updated uh, like uh, in a short time actually. And once we do everything over here, uh, once you did all, if you did all of that, then now you can check if you can see incoming calls and here of course uh, if they display on the screen. And also remember to just simply perform the restart of the phone, sometimes a simple restart or reboot of the device. Uh, also can be quite helpful and it might be just that simple. And that is pretty much everything that we can do. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.